Welcome to The One Who Seeks, where you are the one who seeks. My name is Tara. I am your intuitive tarot reader. I use tarot as a tool to open up the channels of your intuition. By tapping into your unawakened subconscious, you will answer the questions that you seek. I am not a psychic, although it may seem like it sometimes. Take what resonates and leave the rest. Always remember, the freedom of choice is your power. Only you can make it happen with your actions. What are you seeking? Hello, how are you? Hi, how are you? Good. Hello. All right. All right, so my name's Tara. Uh, how do you pronounce your name? Uh, Delima. Delima, okay. So what I thought, I just want to make sure. Okay, so I do see that you did the intake form here. And we're um, talking about love, <laughs> which is really interesting because I literally just did a love reading for my YouTube channel. Uh, oh. <laughs> yeah, so I was like, oh, that's weird. <laughs> so uh, we're already in the energy and the um the reading i did do which is already like setting the tone i feel uh was lovers in separation okay so i feel like it kind of goes with what you're asking here um since you are separated um and you are having these dreams and i did have in my reading uh communicating telepathically oh wow and yeah, you're having these dreams. So uh, I feel like you are communicating um, with, what's his name? Tristan? Is it Thurston? Tristan. Tristan. Okay. So <laughs> anyway, so I was just a little like thrown off by that when I pulled this up and I was just like, okay, that was really weird. <laughs> <laughs> so it's already the energy i still have the candle burning from that reading i'm going to oh, light wow. own candle as well um and we're gonna do it in the the selenite so you're already in um the amethyst right now okay so flame is already lit there is some protection there um and then we're gonna get into a, a more clear and open channel here okay all right. Um, is there anything else that you want to talk about before I get into what you already wrote? Um, I feel like at the moment it's, it seems like, um, that individuals like is on my mind a lot. And I don't know, like if I should go through a process of like pulling my energy back just because it's, I don't know. It just, I've never been through this before, so it's, like, interesting how you can feel someone's energy and you're completely states away or not even in contact or anything. So I feel like I just want more clarity of, like, is this my time frame to pull my energy back and um, kind of disconnect that attachment? I don't – so that's where I'm kind of at in my headspace. Okay. Um. Let's see. And it did say, so you're currently single. Yeah. But he's in a relationship still. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. So I'm going to um, dab my pure love here. This is infused okay. by crystals. My sprayer doesn't work. So we dab it. <laughs> And I'm going to light your candle. All right. I'd like to invite in the angels of loving nature for Delima and her reading today. Let me be a clear and open channel for the messages coming through for her today, for her highest good and for the good of others. All right. Melt that wax a little bit. These ones always go in sideways. Pull it back out. <laughs> Still sideways. All right. 
<laughs> so yeah, we do have the, um, you know, I'm trying to like pull it back out and put it back in and make it fit. Um, so there's <laughs> definitely some sort of a message there with that. Um, we already ha had that candle lit there. So like that flame is already ignited, but there's something, you know, topsy turvy about the situation um, and trying to get it straight. Right. So that it can burn and glow appropriately without burning you, without dripping this wax off. Um, so that's just the, the candle energy going on right now. Okay. And I am going to literally use your three questions um, as okay. my spread. I was going to do my own personal spread and the one I just did for this last love reading, which I am going to send you as well when I send you your reading Perfect. because I do feel like it's already relating. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we are recording on my phone as well in case we get cut off here. Okay. Um, all right. So let's get into it. All right. So how does he feel about you? How does Tristan feel about the Lima? Hmm. I have five of swords. So there's definitely something about get this plant out of my way. <laughs> um, some wounds that need to be healed. Okay. Um, I do feel like. Maybe he feels like he's hurting you, right? Because there's three swords here and he's kind of just walking away from it. He's not like jumping in to help you and be like, let me get these swords out. Or maybe he did it to you, right? Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, there's definitely some distance here, right? He's walking away, but he is looking back. Okay. So there is that connection there as well, right? Like there is that longing to go that way, but for some reason is walking away. Mm -hmm. Let me get some clarification on that. So we'll get some more clarification on him walking away and not helping you. With these swords in your back. Three of Pentacles. It's about creating, um, creating things, having this union, getting together um, with others to create this. It's like you can't do it on your own. Mm -hmm. We have the Four of Cups. Yeah, I mean, you're sitting here you're dreaming of him. He might even be dreaming of you. There's all this um, beautiful energy coming out of the one cup, but then we have these other cups here that are completely empty, right? Okay. Um, so there's a little bit of balancing that needs to go on there of the the emotions. Um, I'm feeling really high and great at one point, and then I got all of these lows. Uh, oh. Feels kind of hopeless, right? Yeah. So it's like, yeah, you need to turn around and look at that beautiful rainbow that's there. Um, you know, he also needs to be turning around here. He is looking back. And then we have the Queen of Cups. Yeah, you're definitely drowning in some emotions here and um, need to just kind of surrender it, I feel like. Uh, I do feel this dream energy for sure with all this like light here. Okay. Dreamy. It's like you're in a fish tank. <laughs> you're just sitting in the pond. Um, <laughs> I'm literally getting like wet dreams, right? <laughs> so. <laughs> He could be having wet dreams about you. You could be having wet dreams about him, uh, which is really interesting. Uh, 
so I'm laughing because in my last reading too with the love reading, I was talking about BJ's blowjobs, right? <laughs> so it just kind of reminded me of that. I'm like, what is this weird energy? It's like super sexual energy coming through. Right. Uh, <laughs> so it's making me laugh. Um yeah, I definitely feel like there is this draw here, but you know, because there is this third party, mm -hmm. um, you know, he's still in a relationship. Um, you're not able to move forward, right? Uh, you're not able to create this beautiful macrame that you're going to be able to hang on your wall together. But there is a lot of sexual energy uh, coming through. What are Tristan's true intentions and emotions towards Delima? Seven of Cups. So we have that rainbow coming through again. Oh, wow. So I almost thought like, oh, this is the same card again, but it's not. Uh, it's just very similar. And we okay. have day and night here. This is day. This is night. So this okay. could also be like the distance between you, the other side of the world, right? Um, yeah, seven's about your spirituality. <clears throat> and cups are your emotions. I do feel like you do need to protect your emotions here. Hmm, what are their true intentions? It's almost like, yeah, I mean, getting this like double meaning here again. Um, we do have the pond here because you're literally drowning in this pond. You've immersed yourself in this pond and now you're kind of being lifted out of it mm -hmm. by this dragon, but it's almost like he's stealing some of your cups. I don't know if he's holding your emotions or stealing your emotions. Um, but we do have a beautiful rainbow here as well. Uh huh which is coming from that pond uh, oh. from this, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there is a hand here holding this other cup here in the Four of Cups, like offering you that rainbow. Oh, I see. So I do feel like he wants to offer you love. But is not taking it, right? It's not taking it here. Oh, okay. He's taking all the other cups, but not taking the rainbow. Okay. I feel like there's some things that are unseen because we're in the dark here. Um it does look like it's becoming like the dawn of the day though. Okay. There is some light shining through in the back, right? Even when the moon's out and it's dark outside, it's coming over the horizon. Okay. So maybe just it's like not the right time yet mm -hmm. to be able to express these emotions. You got to wait for the dawn. All right. And do they have a past life connection? We have the Knight of Wands. 
So the knight is about taking action. And yes, he is going backwards. So I do believe that you have a past life connection. Mm. Because he's going to the left instead of to the right. Okay. It means he's going backwards, right? Mm -hmm. That's that past life. It's things that have already happened. Um, okay. And he does have this, like, beautiful diamond here on the tip of the wand. It's, oh. like, it's like that marriage. It's that offering, right? Mm -hmm. Have that connection. So you may have been wow. married back, you know, in a past life. Oh, I see. And he is carrying this this diamond around. Okay. And it's helping him, like, guide him, right? That past mm -hmm. life connection is guiding him. Oh, I see. Wow. Yeah, and he's very eager. I mean, like, this horse is, like, kind of bucking, ready to take off, like ready to go um mm -hmm. kind of excited <laughs> and so we have that like dawn in the background here again oh i see that's interesting Some more clarification on this diamond. We'll clarify the diamond. Okay, we have the Ace of Swords in reverse. So this is normally, you know, expanding the mind, taking the steps to get there. I feel like uh, we're definitely going backwards here a little bit. Um, oh, I see. Hmm. I feel like we're coming out of the depths here. Um, so we have this like spiral staircase here. Mm -hmm. I feel like we're coming out of it. And we're coming up and out, right? Okay. Instead of going down into the light here. Yeah, and this is your mind. This is challenges. Um, I feel like this is going to be a hard road. Oh, it's interesting, too. So... We're actually like on the underside of the steps here. If you can see um, the railing here is going the other way. Okay. So it's like things are upside down or backwards. Mm hmm You know, and we're going the other way. We're not going towards the light. Um, Very interesting. And then we even have some like math problems here. <laughs> They're like written out math problems. It's like something for you to figure out. <clears throat> it's like a little bit of a mystery. Stretching your neck out. We do have some steps here too, which like are not even correlating with the spiral at all. It's like oh. a totally new path. Um, I definitely feel like, you know, this neck seems very elongated, stretching your neck out. So this oh, is definitely, yeah. yeah, it's very challenging. It's really, you know, you have this math problem here. I don't know how good you are at math, but. <laughs> I, I'm horrible at math, so it's like, okay, what does that even mean? Now I've got to, like, really think about this. Um, interesting. All right, and then we have the Seven of Swords in reverse as well. Um, 
And I did see this bird here. It kind of looks like it's dive bombing here, but it's like almost upside down. Again, we got like that weird reversal and it's upside down. Um, Right. and then we have the bird here. This one came out upside down, but you can see this bird really up front, like squawking. Uh, there's a really loud message trying to like get through here, but we're not hearing it, right? Something about this being a uh, blockage, something that has to do with giving up like primal survival needs. Okay. So I feel like maybe, you know, he doesn't want to leave his relationship that he's currently in because of maybe some sort of survival need. Okay. You know, this could be financial, you know, like, I, I just need a roommate because I can't afford to live on my own. Uh, that's coming through. But I do see that he's trying to connect with you. We get these feathers that are floating here. Usually, like, the feathers, if you see a feather out on the ground, it's like spirit trying to... send you a message okay um you know your ancestors are trying to send you a message this could be like the communication between the two of you telepathically so okay you know if you see a, a feather maybe you know pick it up okay <laughs> and uh we have the two of swords in reverse so obviously i have my deck upside down here And we have the birds again, and they're trying to take this blindfold off, right, in in the uh, upright position, but we did get it in reverse, so they might actually be tying you up Oh, I see. and blinding you. And we do have that moon there of, like, things unseen, things unknown. Uh, Yeah. and, yeah, this could be also, like, your your dream state. Because you have your eyes, you know, blocked and closed off here. Um, it almost feels a little bit nightmarish, though. Mm -hmm. Because, yeah, you have this wonderful feeling while you're asleep. And you're like, oh, I never knew a love like this before. And then you wake up and you're like, God damn it. <laughs> I'm back to reality. <laughs> you know, um, back to the, the actual feelings of reality. And... Um, Having that balance of that 3D and the 5D of living in two different worlds, basically. Oh, I see. Yeah, and they're squawking here as well, like really squawking at you. Right. That's interesting with the birds like repeatedly showing and stuff. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they're squawking. <laughs> yeah, they're really trying to talk to you. Um, trying to get a message through. Let's see. Uh, let's do this other deck. What is the message that wants to come through? What are the birds trying to say? Ooh, the tower. Something's going to happen very suddenly. Something to do with your foundation, something to do with home, right? Um, this could be even maybe he's going to decide to leave the relationship, the home that feels so secure. And it's going to happen very suddenly. Yeah, it's literally a house that is burning. Wow. It's not a tower like normal, right? Okay. And we do have it. I'm like really interested in this girl here. She's just standing here and watching it burn, right? Yeah. Uh, these people are like, help me, help me. Right? This could be that bird squawk. That you're hearing and that we're seeing here okay that there needs to be some sort of help um 
and this person is just standing there. Oh, I see. It's like, almost like she did light it on fire. Um, okay. Who needs help? Holy cow. Okay. The Empress and the Four of Wands. These literally jumped out. So oh, wow. There is a new, like, a rebirth. She's, the Empress is pregnant. So there's oh. a sort of thing that's going to be growing. And the Four of Wands is the 1111. It's the twin flame energy. Oh, I see. So I feel like it's growing. Um, right. And then and now we have this castle here in the background and we're starting a new home. The other one's burnt down. Oh, okay. Wow. So I do feel like you are going to end up coming together at some point. Um, I think that his relationship is pretty rocky and is being lit on fire. And so you're going to have this opportunity to come together again and celebrate with each other. Very interesting. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to do uh, these yes and no's. All right. So is Tristan going to leave the old relationship and come together with Delima. No, we got to know. A time of quiet and peace change. Some events and people will fade into the background, making room for more progressive and exciting circumstances. Changes gently knock at your door, inviting luck to enter your ever-changing life. Right. And I feel like we are, we're going back to that five of swords with that. Okay. Where he's walking away. Right. So maybe he's going to give you some sort of a false pretense of the, I'm coming towards you, but then really is going to stab you in the back here. Okay. Um, yeah. Cause they're fading in the background. Making room for more progressive and exciting circumstances. So I feel like maybe. This love coming in is something new, right? This is something new um, that's going to impregnate you. and <laughs> could be literally <laughs> okay. um, or just metaphorically. Okay. So that you can have your happy ever ending, uh, this rainbows, mm -hmm. the creativity that's coming together to build something new, to build something beautiful and artistic. And I want to know how and when. There are a few steps left before triumph can be reached. You receive promising news after six to seven months. That brings you a sense of long awaited relief. You are motivated to take competent action. Give rise to the highest ambitions within you. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like that goes back to this like ace of swords, right? Because everything's like backwards here. But then we have this other staircase. I feel like you need to take this staircase here. And stop being in this weird spiral that's upside down and uh, not making any sense. Why are you walking away from the light? You should be walking towards the light. That makes total sense. Get some affirmation. Right. My mind is King Kong strong and I'm even stronger. So there's King Kong on top of a brain here. So it's ever overcoming uh, your brain and the logic 
right? It's that 3D, 5D. Um, okay. Get over that. Stop being so much in your brain about it. Be stronger than your brain. Um, you know, we had all these weird math problems here, which is really straining your brain. Mm -hmm. How do you make it work? How do you get the right answer? Uh, you know what helps in every situation? The ability to be King Kong strong within your thoughts. Strengthening your mind leads to humility, patience, self-confidence, courage, honesty, focus, flexibility, awareness, gratitude, and the ability to beat resistance and fear gremlins to a pulp. When you create habits to strengthen your mind, meditation, creative expression. Yeah, well, that's that creative expression. Okay. Um, relaxation, self-love, etc. You strengthen the rest of your life too. Relationships, career, projects, sexy time, etc. When you understand that you are also stronger than your mind, your mind follows suit and levels up to the superhero status. That cape looks hella fresh on you. Oh, wow. So you did have that cape here too which I was kind of drawn to earlier, but it wasn't really as sure uh, what it meant. Okay. So I feel like it's time for you to wear the cape. Take it away from him. Take the power back. I think you're giving him too much power. Definitely. All right, uh, so we still have about eight minutes, so I'm going to pull another. Okay. I am willing to let my life explode with greatness. We have a jellyfish. Um, jellyfish could be really cool to look at. They're mm -hmm. transparent. They can also sting you. Right also be pretty dangerous right and then somebody has to pee on you right <laughs> to, to, to kind of heal you right <laughs> uh you have unlimited potential to attract all the goodness you've ever dreamed of into your life the opportunity is so big it's scary your powers are beyond our comprehension so we create securities, blocks, and obstacles to give us a greater sense of control. Every limitation you experience is there because you allow it to exist. There is comfort in not pushing yourself to be all you can. Everything you've ever wanted also wants you. Will you allow a meeting of the magic? Interesting. As our friend Sarah... Sight settlement always ask, how good are you willing to let it get? And then we have like a rabbit coming out of the hat. Oh, wow. So this is like the ma ma magician uh, kind of energy and creating your own miracles and having all the tools that you need to create exactly what it is that you want. And it's funny because I feel like there's like a little bit of contradiction in here too. I feel like everything you ever wanted also wants you. It's like, you know, you're dreaming of him, but mm -hmm. he's walking away. Right. You're literally dreaming of him, but he does want you, right? But then I feel like we're having this new start with somebody else. Right. I feel like he's good for you. Because, um, yeah, the magician, for sure. I mean, you can go either way with that. You could put a spell on somebody for the good, or you could put a spell on somebody for evil, right? It just depends on um, who you are internally and how you want that to come out. Okay. How good are you willing to let it 
get? Such a weird phrase. How good are you willing to let it get? Oh, interesting. Right. And it's kind of confusing, like reading it. I'm like, okay, that's a little bit of a mind twist, right? There's that math problem again, trying to figure it out. It's that, um, what ingredients are you going to put in there? What is that uh, solution? How do you make this magic happen? Okay. But I do feel like you are drowning here in your emotions and it's time to move on. Good to know. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you have any questions? Um, I guess um, when you're seeing like those cards with like um, similar, like for example, the cape or you see the birds twice um, or the feathers or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. um, like I know they like correlate with each other, but how um, can I make that connection like moving forward of like, okay, these are the signs you know, definitely said time to move on. And I feel like in my intuition was like, I just need that clarity. And I think I know that clarity, but then sometimes just hearing it from somebody else is like, oh, that light yeah. bulb goes off. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I would definitely journal it. Look, okay. Uh, look up those meanings. What's the red cape mean? What does the rainbow mean? Uh, okay. What do the, the birds squawking mean? Okay. Um, let's see what other things we have here. Maybe what does the diamond mean in past life? Because it's so bright. It's like in your face a little bit. It's really glowing here. Okay. And it's part of that red cape. So the correlation between those two. Um, you know, what does the color red itself mean? Okay. And the dawn, dawn of the day. Oh, yeah. Yep. That was definitely. That one came up um, quite a bit here. All right. Uh, I want to know what Tristan has to say to you. Okay. I can't stop thinking about you. Please do what is best for your heart. Mm. sex with you <laughs> <laughs> telling you very strong sexual energy coming through i can't express myself mm. yeah one more i don't want to be who i used to be you deserve better yeah yeah that's that walking away it's like full circle again right we keep coming back to this card Mm-hmm. I feel like he knows maybe he's not right for you. You're too good for him. Because he's going to end up hurting you. But there is definitely strong feelings here. There's sexual energy. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, you need to do what's best for your heart, right? Which is moving on. Definitely. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, one minute and 28 seconds. Anything oh. else? <laughs> I feel like I feel pretty good with the messages and the way you express it. So thank you for that. I really appreciate it. And then uh, my understanding, would I get a recording you said? Yeah, I'll send you a recording. Okay. It'll probably be a couple of days since it's Friday and I still have another one I have to, because no, I swipe them together. And so it takes me an hour and a half or something to do. So in a couple and of days, I'll send it. Asking, um, what is your YouTube page? Do you uh, have a YouTube page? Yes, it's one who seeks tarot. Okay. Yeah. Definitely. Um, and then okay, I'm going well, to I'm gonna post that uh other love reading really soon here. I was in the middle of doing it before I started with you. So uh it'll probably be up in about an hour or so. Okay, sounds good. Well, thank you so much. I appreciate taking your time out of the day and you know, yeah. just kind of doing this. I never 
virtually. So it's kind of cool to still connect with those energies and everything. Yeah, it's a little different, but yeah, it's fun. Yeah, definitely. Thank you. All right. well, I appreciate you being here and good luck with this. I know this is very uh, trying on your heart and your mind and your soul. So uh, yeah, I wish you the best of luck in finding your happiness. Definitely. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. All right. <laughs> thank you. Bye. I want to thank you and our angels for being present for the messages that have come through in this reading. If you found this to be helpful, please like and share this content so others can benefit as well. Seek the subscribe button and don't forget to get notifications so you never miss a reading. The more love you share, the more love you receive. And you can find more love right here in these other videos. For more information about this channel, personal readings, swag, and donations, check the links in the description box.